Welcome to Soft Reviewed. In this video, we are going to take a look at Google's AI Edge platform where it enables us to actually use language models like Google's new Gemini 3N which is like a small model and it has got enhanced capabilities multi-model uh, so it can access your camera and see and also you can chat with uh, the model completely using internet and a fast speed because it runs on your device and you don't have to worry about your data going to third-party websites so this is like cross-platform it means it works on android and ios this platform supports that but we have a github app right now which you can use it on your android device so yeah if you come here to this this is called google ai edge gallery where it runs locally and you can choose from different models upload an image and ask questions about it there are like pre-prompted sections where we can write generate code chat with ai all using our mobile cpu and without using any internet connection if you are excited don't forget to like share and subscribe for more future videos now let's see how we can actually use this okay i am on my mobile now you can type in ai edge app it will take you to this github page and once you are here you can just scroll down and you can just as you can see link and it will download like a 115 mb file and just install it i have already installed the file so its name is edge gallery and just open that and now what we need to do is we need to actually download the actual model so that we can interact with this as you can see there are like four different models even quen 2.5 model is also available Gemma's one billion parameter model is there and four billion and two billion parameter model so if you are using like a high-end mobile with at least 8 gb ram you can use this 4 billion parameter i would recommend using gemma 3n models because that's natively multi-model and it supports like a text and vision input and it has got a context length of 4000 limit and if you want to actually install it you first need to have a hugging face account it's free just go and create one hugging face account and once you are there you will need to agree to their terms and conditions before you can actually activate it on your mobile and just click on authorize when it's prompted and you will also need to give you also need to agree to their terms and conditions by clicking on those tick icon and just select accept after giving your name and yeah just click on accept once you accept it that's it you can just go back to your mobile app and you can see that download is already started so in order to use these models the 4 billion parameter model requires at least 8 gb ram that's the bare minimum that you need in order to run the 4 billion parameter model so for most of us i would definitely recommend the 2 billion parameter model because gemma n is like a multi-model and it comes with the 2 billion and 4 billion model so i would definitely recommend most of you watching this to start with the 2 billion parameter model then if that's working flawlessly then move to or if you have a higher spec mobile like 16 gb ram then you can initially start with the 4 billion parameter model that's my recommendation as you can see on the screen we have three options ask image prompt lab and AI chat so if i click on ask image right now and as you can see a delete button right that's because i have downloaded two models so initially i tested it with the 4 billion parameter model and mobile was struggling since i only have 8 gb ram so i switched to like the currently what you are seeing is 2 billion parameter model and i am just checking with my camera and clicking a picture of my speaker and i am just testing it out like asking the ai model like what is this and i don't have any internet connection uh, enabled right now it's completely happening inside the cpu itself as you can see it's currently identifying that it's a jbl flip 6 portable bluetooth speaker and you can also see the stats like the, when was the first token generated the delay and the latency etc uh, if you want to be technical and if you click on the settings there as you can see you can choose between different accelerators like gpu and cpu 
I tested with the 2 billion parameter model. The CPU was working fine with the 2 billion, but with the 4 billion, it seems like it's not working. Now let's check out AA chat. This is where we directly interact with the AA LLM models, just like we do in OpenAI, ChatGPT, or Google Gemini. So please wait till that is initialized. As you can see, there is like a small animation that's on top. Wait for that. Then only try to ask questions once that animation is not showing. I am just asking it to see what's the cutoff date. When I asked it previously, it said that it was till December 2023. So just want to let you guys know that it's not having any recent information for the past two, two years. So keep that in mind. And that's the 2 billion model in action, as you can see. And if I am switching, if you look at the stats, you can see the first token took like two seconds. I am just showing you the 4 billion parameter model now. As you can see at the top, there is like a loading sign, right? You need, you need to wait till that's finished. As you can see, now it's loaded. So I'm just asking who is the current American president to see if the model knows current information. And see, as you can see, when I switch to the 4 billion parameter model, it's really slow, right? And that's the difference between the 2 billion and 4 billion. Even though 4 billion parameter has more knowledge, you will have to sacrifice the speed for that. Yeah. As you can see, it took two seconds for the two billion, or almost four seconds for the first token. So there is like considerable amount of lag if you are using a mobile with 8 GB RAM. And uh, now they have another section called prompt lab where everything is pre-prompted. I can show you one example for this as well. Just waiting for this to load. So when you click on that plus icon, they have some preloaded uh, examples there you can change it to like friendly so we can change the tone of this text to be friendly they have a rewrite tone section there in the prompt lab area and as you can see it's loading and yeah they have two tabs to instantaneously see the benchmark on the cpu and as you can see it's changed that text to like more a more friendly tone then you have summarize text so you can like paste in a huge amount of text and as you can see from the drop down i have selected give me like three to five key bullet points and the ai is now thinking on how to do that As you can see, it's generating that three to five bullet points that we asked for. So it's all pre-prompted to make your life easier. And that's how it works. Now let's move to like the next section, which is like a code snippet generator. And you also have support for different languages there. And here also we have some example. So I'll just show you like I create like an alert box that says hello world and it will start generating that C++ code for you as well. I hope you got the idea of how this works and how useful it is. This is really helpful if you want to use LLM models without internet connection and so you have access to LLM models wherever you go without needing to worry about having a stable connection. You are not sharing your information with anyone else. So that's also like a great advantage. I hope this information was helpful and if you like this video please do share it with your friends and if if you want more tips and tricks like this please don't forget to share and subscribe for more future videos again thank you for watching and have a great day got a world to explore and news to find hit that link don't be left behind a news and review straight to your feed it's the upgrade your life will need